Hello my friends, I'd like to demonstrate how I'm making adapters in general and a 6S serial charging balancing adapter in particular. If you use a 6S parallel balance lead to start with, half the work's already done for 98 cents. The important feature here are these Y connections because we need to connect two wires to each pin and that's getting usually quite fiddly. So I'm glad that's done already. So I don't need these connectors here. Snip. And snap. Damn, missed the bin twice. I'll make the wire ends nice and short, about one millimeter, to be able to solder them nicely into those tiny connector tabs. These plugs are called Micro Losi or Micro Valkara 2 pin plugs, and I buy them at eBay from a fella called Semi Lamb. Soldering them with normal solder and an iron is pretty fiddly, so that's why I'm using SMD paste. Just fill them all up, and then just stick the wire in and hit it with the heat gun. It's just a hot air gun, specifically for SMD soldering, and it's set at 300 degrees Celsius. Very simple. Just stick them in, heat up, and done. Here from a slightly different angle. It's a bit like voodoo. You see this gray mass suddenly turning into shiny silver solder. It's awesome. Done. I don't crimp these tabs, I just grab them with a pair of pliers, like this, and bend them off. That, uh, well, removes them from these attachment tabs and forms them properly to fit into the plug at the same time. Before I start fitting the tabs into the plugs, I'll prepare some heat shrink. I'm using four millimeter diameter double walled adhesive heat shrink that fits around the plugs just nice and through the glue and the high shrink ratio it's really grabbing these plugs and gives you a nice handle to plug and unplug them. So each of the pins in the existing connector now has two leads coming out of them I grab one lead from the very first pin and one from the second and watch that you get the right polarity, pop them into the first connector. Through soldering these tabs they sometimes get a little bit thicker so you gotta apply some force to get them into the plug housing. The upside of that is don't go anywhere afterwards. Well, it takes a bit of time, so speed that up here for you. Done. So before I finish them up with heat shrink, um, I test them by just plugging in six batteries. If they show up correctly on the screen, that means the connection is there and correctly polarized. If not, well, I gotta rather check before gluing them together. Now that looks all good, so just hit them with 300 degrees and done. Next step is to connect two bullet connectors for the main charging connection. I put the connector housing over the wire and then apply some flux gel. Now heat up the connector since that Needs a little bit more heat than those tiny ones. I've set the gun to 480 degrees Celsius. Now simply fill it up with solder. A little bit more. Make sure it stays all nice and hot. And then just stick the fluxed wire in. Now make sure to keep it steady for a while, 
because these bolt connectors retain a lot of heat. So 10, 20 seconds and good. Oh yeah, did I mention that they retain heat quite well? So, here's the finished adapter. As you can see, it has um, a bullet connector on each of the outer pins and micro low C two pin connectors between each of the six pin pairs. The last thing what I like to do to provide some strain relief for that seven pin connector is to get some heat shrink around that. To get the alignment perfect I plug the plug in, push the heat shrink all the way down and then heat it up. I just love this heat gun made my tinkering life so much easier. In case you're interested, it's a Yihua. So it's like a karate move. A Yihua 968 DB plus. It costs around a hundred bucks. So that's it. Adapter done. I hope that was interesting for you. If you want to see what this adapter has actually been used for, check out the charging video. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And, um, well, yee hoo -ah!